Good morning, precious friend. Oh, I'm so happy to be coming to you again on another precious day. Just to join my faith with you, you know, to encourage you. Because this is something that the Holy Ghost has placed on my heart. To feed his sheep, to pray over God's people, to stand with them, to believe God with them for their miracles, for their breakthroughs, for their supernatural turnarounds. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen, just before I pray with you, I just got to read the word of God to you. You know there is power in the word of God. The Bible says in Isaiah 55 verse 11, So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It will not return unto me void, but it will accomplish that which I please, and it will prosper in the very thing I sent it to prosper in. You remember in the, in the, in the book of John chapter 11, Lazarus, a very good friend of Jesus, had died. And Mary and Martha, the sisters of Lazarus, they had sent for Jesus. But Jesus did not show up when they wanted him to. So they were suffering from disappointment. They felt as if the Lord had disappointed them. They felt as if God had let them down. Because their prayer was not answered in a timely manner that they wanted the prayer to be answered in. I heard a preacher made a statement like this. It's a life-changing statement. They say God may not come when you want him, but his timing is perfect. You can't figure him out, but he knows exactly when to come. And when Jesus showed up, Lazarus had already died four days. His body had already begun to decay, decompose, rot, and stink in the grave. And Mary said, Lord, if you would have been here, Lazarus would not have died. But Jesus said to her, your brother will live again. And she began to take her miracle and put it into the future. She said, well, Lord, I know that in the resurrection morning, my brother will live again. Jesus said, Mary and Martha, I got news for you. The resurrection, the resurrection is not an event. The resurrection is a person. Jesus said, I am. I feel the Holy Ghost right there. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said, he that believes in me, even though he is dead, he will live again. Glory to God. And Mary said, I know even now, Lord, that whatever you ask, it will not be withheld from you. Jesus said, show me the place where you laid him. Take me to the place. Take me to the place where you laid him. I believe the Holy Spirit has wanted me to say this to some of you this morning. You've already gave up and you feel as if your promise, <clears throat> excuse me, you feel as if your promise from the Lord has already died and it's over and it's too late. But I believe the Holy Ghost want me to tell you on this great morning that it's never too late. That it's never too late. It's never too late for your God. Because the Bible says for with God absolutely nothing shall be impossible. And we know what happened. They took him to Lazarus' grave. And Jesus said take away the stone. They said but Lord by this time now he stinks. Oh just like Lazarus your situation may be stink. Your situation may be rotting. But take Jesus to the place. Take him to the place where you lost faith in him. And you're about to get a miracle. And we know what happened. They moved the stone and Jesus shouted with a loud voice. Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible says, he that was dead came forth. Bound, bound, hand and foot. And Jesus said, loose the man and let him go. Oh, I'm talking to some people on this great morning. I'm talking to some people. They've already put you in a grave, your promise. They've already sealed it. But the Holy Ghost is saying to your promise this morning, come forth in the name of Jesus. Come forth. And this is what the Holy Ghost want me to pray over you this morning. That every promise that you've given up on, every, every, every plan that God had for your life, that it seemed like it took too long and you gave up on the thing. You gave up on it. You sealed the tomb. You buried it. You've already thrown it. You've thrown the towel in. The Holy Ghost said, the promise will live again. It will come back to life. I speak over your life this morning. With resurrection power, I feel the Holy Ghost. With resurrection anointing, I command every dead promise. I command it to resurrect. I command it to come alive. Some of your faith have already, have already 
died. You've already given up on nothing. But the Holy Ghost is speaking resurrection life into that situation this morning. I speak life. Jesus said the thief comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I speak life into your situation. I speak life into your spirit. I speak life into your faith this morning. I speak life into your marriage this morning. I speak life in the relationship with your kids. I speak life in the name of Jesus. I speak life. Oh, I'm talking to a pastor this morning, an evangelist, an, apo an apostle, a prophet, a teacher. Oh, you, you, you've already gave up on that ministry. You said it's too late. Nothing good can come out of this situation. Ah, but the Holy Ghost want me to tell you, man of God, woman of God, don't give up. Put your faith in God. Put your faith in God. I speak resurrection. Come on and lift your hands to heaven here. Lift your hands to heaven. Lift your hands to heaven. Open up your mouth and worship him with me. He is the resurrection and the life. He is the resurrection and the life. He loves you this morning. He loves you this morning. He loves you. 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 Oh, the Holy Ghost is putting his arms of love around you. He's healing your broken heart. He's healing that disappointed spirit. He's healing that discouraged spirit. That spirit that suffered from disappointment. You felt as if God had let you down. You felt as if God had failed you. But this is what he said to Joshua. I will never leave you nor fail you. Two things God cannot do. He cannot fail and he cannot lie. And he's breathing resurrection life into your spirit this morning. I'm talking to a woman who have been beat down by your husband. The negative words, the abusive words from your husband have you discouraged. You feel like it's over. You feel like there's no hope. But the Holy Ghost want me to tell you this morning. He's, he, is, he is a specialist in hopeless situations. He is a specialist. He is a specialist. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. He loves you. He loves you. He said to Jeremiah, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? There is nothing too hard for him. There is nothing too hard for your God. Oh, come on and lift your hands to heaven. Come on and lift your hands to heaven. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Come on and worship Jesus. Come on and worship Jesus. Come on and worship Jesus with me this morning. Come on and worship Jesus. Come on and worship Jesus. Come on and worship Him. Say, Lord, I surrender to you. I surrender, Lord. I'm not going to try to figure it out. I surrender, Lord. I surrender all to you, Jesus. He wants your surrender this morning. 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 Oh, open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. I feel the Holy Ghost is visiting some of you this morning. Oh, come on and lift your hands. Now, if you're driving that car, don't lift your hands. Oh, but if you're sitting in a bedroom, if you're sitting in some place, if you're in a safe place, come on, just lift your hands to heaven. Open your mouth and begin to thank Him. 
Come on, let the tears flow freely. Out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Resurrection has come into your situation this morning. Resurrection. Resurrection has come into your life this morning. Resurrection. Resurrection has come into your life this morning. Resurrection. We love you, friend. Be blessed this day. The victory is yours in the name of Jesus. Look forward to being with you again on another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you.